Hi, I'm Allie Dazzle with We Are Memory Keepers here at scrapbook.com and I'm so excited to share with you all about our punch boards. In this lesson, we're gonna use the one, two, three punch board, the tab punch board, and the planner punch board to create some custom inserts and dividers for your planner. So let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make weekly dividers to fit in this planner. We're gonna start by cutting five different pieces of pattern paper to seven and one eighth by four and three eighths, and I've already done that. And so then we're gonna grab the punch board and we're gonna make two side tabs. And the way you do that is you take this little alignment guide and put it in the side tab slot right there. And then you line your paper up on the guideline and punch and then move this back. And for the small tab, we flip it over and line it up on the small guideline right there. Punch again, and then we're gonna cut off the excess right here with the cutting feature of the punch board. Now this blade has a little notch there that fits into the track. We're gonna place it right at the edge of the tab and just slice that excess off. And then you've got a nice side tab. Now for the bottom side tab, all you would do is take your paper, flip it upside down and go through those same steps that we just did and you'll get your bottom side tab. So for the middle tab, what we're gonna do is look at the measurements on the board. My paper is just about seven inches, so I'm gonna go with the number seven, S for small, and we're gonna line the paper up right there on the seven S setting. Punch, flip it over, line up the edge of the tab on the small guide, punch again, and then we're gonna cut off the excess again with the punch board. One of the things I love about all of our punch boards is that we have replacement blades, so if your blade ever gets dull, you can just replace it and keep on using your board. So it really extends the life of your tool. All right, so there's a nice center tab, but what if you want to create a tab that goes in between these two? So let me show you a fun little hack. It's really easy for doing that. Now, with this particular measurement, the seven inches, you're gonna line up on five, number five for the large setting. And that'll get you a tab right where you need it in between the two. Same thing, turn it over, line the edge up on the small guide, and then get rid of the excess with the cutting feature. All right, now if you want to make the in-between tab that goes down towards the bottom, same thing, but just flip your paper upside down and then you can make the tab that fits through the bottom. So now we've got all of our five tabs to fit for our planner and we're gonna use the planner punch board to punch these so we can insert them into our planner. We're gonna take one of our tab dividers and what we're gonna do is find the center of the length here. So I'm gonna use the Supreme Ruler which is an excellent tool for crafters of all kinds because it's got inches, centimeters, it's got these adjustable alignment guides, it's got a grip on the bottom so it doesn't slip and a nice handle up here. It's got a centering feature. It's really a useful tool for any crafter. So we're gonna use the centering feature and I'm gonna kinda just line up my paper and try to find the numbers that match on each side. So I'm going for the center, so. We're gonna go right about there. And I'm gonna take a pencil and mark at the zero mark and that is gonna tell me where the center of my divider is. Once I've done that, I'm gonna take the planner punch board and for this particular planner, we're gonna use the blue spiral insert. I'm gonna open up my board and I'm gonna place this little alignment guide right on the center, which is basically number 37 right there. So now I'm gonna take that mark that I made and I'm gonna slide that right into the center line of my tool so that my paper is centered in the punch. And I'm gonna punch. We're just gonna move along, placing the hole that I already punched on the guide on the insert. And we're gonna keep moving along. Then we're gonna scoot it over, find the last hole that you punch and place that right on the guide on the insert. And we'll just keep moving down until we reach the end of our paper, making sure that's nice and straight in there. Then we flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Lining up that last hole on the guide on the insert until we reach the end of our paper. So once we've done that, 
we're going to add a label that I typed with the Typecast typewriter, or you can write on it, whatever you'd like to do. And we're just going to stick that there. And then we're going to add some um, embellishments from the Heidi Swap Memory Planner Embellishment Kit. We're just going to stick a little bit of washi tape on there from the Oasis collection. It matches this fun Oasis paper, which is perfect with Heidi Swap's um, One Day Personal Memory Planner. Okay, and now we're ready to add that into the planner. And we're going to go back to August. And what I like to do is I like to divide up the days so that they fit with the week. So this would be week one, and we're going to just slide week one in there and place it into the planner. And what's really nice about this is these are movable. So you can move these dividers between months, from month to month. Next, we're gonna make a pocket insert so you can store your stickers, your embellishments, um, ephemera, receipts, whatever you need to put in your planner. We're gonna use our one, two, three punch board to make a four by six envelope. And what I love about this particular board is that it's so versatile. I like to call it the Cadillac of all punch boards um, because it really is the most versatile. You can make boxes, you can make bows, you can make envelopes. And really in the instruction booklet, there's over 200 different products of different sizes and styles that you can make. So for a four by six envelope, we need an eight and three eighths inch square paper, which I've already cut. We're gonna line it up at three and a half here on the board. And then we're gonna pull out the extender arm for scoring. And then we punch and take our scoring tool and we're going to score right along here turn it and we'll line our score line right here on this guide and then punch and score again. We'll just keep doing that on all four sides. And this tool is so easy to use because it's color coded. So whatever project you're making, you just follow the directions of the um, different colors. So that makes it really easy to use. Now, like all the punch boards, there are multiple features on this board. So we're gonna use the corner rounder, which is right here and round all four corners on this envelope. Now, if you're making a box, the other side of the punch has a corner slitter, which is really convenient as well. So now we've done that, we're going to adhere this together. And what I like to do when I'm assembling this is take the sides, fold them up, and then just, I like to cut off that piece right there. I think it just looks a little bit more neat. So I'm just gonna do a little score line there. And I'm gonna grab my scissors and just cut straight along that line. And then I think that looks just a little neater. So now we're ready to assemble, and I like to use the double-sided sticky tape from the Sticky Thumb Collection. That is the perfect tape for 3D projects where you've got paper that's folded that has a tendency to want to pop open, like boxes or envelopes, anything uh, three-dimensional. So this tape just is so strong. It's my favorite. Okay, so now we've got that envelope together. What we need to do is we need to punch with the planner punch board right here along the edge so that we can insert this into our planner. Since this particular envelope is six inches, that fits perfectly into the board. So we just line it up on the center line right there. And we punch and we follow the same steps that we did before. Punch and move over all the way down to the end. Now we're gonna add a ribbon to this so we can keep it secure when we have all our planner goodies in there. So I've taken a two foot length of ribbon. I'm gonna use my ribbon cutter, which is a fabulous tool again for any crafter. Um, you just flip the switch, it's battery powered so you can take it with you anywhere you want. Open it up, place your ribbon inside at an angle if you'd like to do it at an angle. I'm going to press it down and that seals and cuts your ribbon so you don't have frayed ends. So we'll do both sides. And then we're ready to put that on the envelope. 
what I like to do is to turn it upside down and I put it some tape on the back from our, our sticky thumb double-sided tape. This is the tape runner and I just like to run some right across the middle and then place the ribbon on top of that and then it stays secure right where it's supposed to be. Then I'm going to thread that right into one of those planter holes nearby and then we're going to place some stickers and some embellishments from the Heidi Swap memory planner embellishment kit inside and then we'll just tie it in a pretty bow. You could use twine for this or any kind of fibers. Then we're going to add a little bit of embellishments to the front of the envelope just for fun and a few of these gold stickers from the embellishment kit. These are great for planners. They're great for journaling notebooks, for traveler's notebooks, cards. Okay, and now we're going to insert that into the planner. And I like to keep that towards the beginning of my month so I can refer back to it as I uh, prepare my month or each week, however you like to do your planners. And again, it's so easy to just insert this in and move it around if you need to in your planner. And there we go. Thanks for joining me for this lesson all about the punch boards from We Are Member Keepers and I hope you join me for the next lesson.